What is cracking, my people of the oil? I know you haven't missed me, but I'm sure missed you all. And let's groove right into things this week. And first up, Campus Update's favorite Russian is introducing everything that happens on our yearbook staff. I'm Gabby Rizzo, the senior editor-in-chief this year. And I'm Corey Spire, the junior editor-in-chief. So yearbook is a student-run journalism class. And basically, we have a website called Jostin's Yearbook Avenue where we design pages and we go to sporting events and we take our photos from sporting events or academic events and we put it on the page, write pieces, interview people and then we have deadlines where they start printing the book and at the end of the year, March 23rd I think is our last deadline, um, we're done with the book and we don't see it till June. Your book class looks like a rewarding experience. I'd take it next year but I'm going to be a senior. Speaking of that, is there any juniors and are curious about what comes next year? Chloe went out and asked a few teachers if they had any tips for our juniors that are coming next year for their senior year. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. I'm Chloe Bittner, and today we're going to ask some of the teachers for advice for incoming seniors. So if you're a junior, I would listen up, because these teachers are about to give you some very important tips and advice for your senior year. The most common misconception that seniors have is that you can do really poorly second semester of your senior year and still go to college. This is false. You need to do well. Senioritis. <laughs> <laughs> Senioritis, um, it's very easy early on that you're going to want to just simply kind of phone it in and give up pretty early. And the grand scheme of things is that your senior classes very much matter towards the actual graduation and then leaving of high school. So even if it's government or econ or insert random other class here, you still need those to graduate. So do what you possibly can to try to finish strong-ish. My advice is to make the most of your senior year by allowing time for fun and enjoying your friends, but also reaching your full potential. Number one, I would say, sign up for ceramics. This is a year that you're going to want to try to remember and try to, to embrace as much as possible. Um, it's going to go by in a heartbeat, um, and by the time it comes to a close, uh, you're going to possibly have some regrets and wonderment of what if I had done this, what if I had done that, or what if, why didn't I do something along those lines. So um, whether it's going to a sporting event, whether, whether it's going to a dance, whether it's just sitting by somebody who's a little bit lonely at lunch, um, these are little things that could wind up making a major difference, whether it's your life or somebody else's. So be a good person. One day, all your parents and everybody are come, going to come for a graduation and know that you have to have those credits to graduate. Um, and telling grandma that she can't come to graduation because you felt ceramics is the worst thing ever. My junior class is pretty awesome. I have a bunch of fun people in it. The junior class right now is filled with some amazing, lazy, and terrible students. <laughs> I had a luncheon that was delicious, lean cuisine. It was mm. roast chicken, potatoes, broccoli, and some peppers. And you know there are other teachers of this school than me, right? Thanks, Chloe. School has been a journey, and sometimes we need a little extra help to reach our goals. Luckily, tutoring has started again. Here's Dylan with some info on how you can get some extra tutoring help. Tutoring happens every day after school. The writing lab is at the back of the library with tutors trained to help revise writing. A teacher is almost always at the writing lab as well to help with essays. All days start at 5th period with Mondays and Fridays ending at 4, Tuesdays and Wednesdays ending at 5, and Thursday ending at 6. There is an NHS greeter to help direct students. The library has teachers present Mondays and Thursdays. All tutors are in the National Honors Society. That's all for me. Are you a basketball fan? If you are, you should know that March Madness is coming up, and here's Luca to fill us in. I like March Madness because it's like a fun thing to watch with my friends, and like you can bet on games, and like you can make brackets and stuff. It's basically just a college basketball tournament, uh, consisting of like 68 teams, and the winner wins the national championship. There's a ton of teams, a lot of games, it's a lot of fun. I like March Madness because I get to see the up-and-coming 
players for the NBA, and I just like watching uh, college basketball. It's a lot of fun, and uh, you never really know what's going to happen. So if you win, it could be a big payout. If you lose, I mean, so be it. I like March Madness because it's fun to watch and exciting. And I like to place bets on the games. I would not recommend betting because it is illegal. However, there are certain exceptions to that rule. Clock ticks, and that's it! Xavier has upset Recently, there was an event to celebrate different cultures that can be found out here at Huntington. Tony attended the event and brought us some cool insights. Hey Oilers, this weekend I got the chance to swing by Culture Night, hosted upstairs in the library. Culture Night was a fun, informational, and interactive science fair-like event where people showcased different customs around the room. They showed dances, music, and different dishes, as well as informational posters and artifacts. As people traveled from station to station, they were all greeted with a variety of different dishes and desserts that people got to enjoy, just like how the Hans did for their station in South Korea. What we're serving up is uh, bulgogi, which is meat, it actually means hot meat, brown rice, and a little bit of kimchi. You can see that our, we have a little bit on the culture of Korea, sports of Korea, and the cinema of Korea with our recent proud film, Parasite. Way to go Bridges and all the HBH students who put this on. Had some really good food and snacks in there and learned a lot about our students and where they come from. Make sure to check out events like this on campus. Go Oilers! Thanks, Tony. You know those concerts that happen during lunch every once in a while? On Fridays? Yeah, if you didn't know, that concert is called Lunch on the Lawn, and there are a number of them coming up. We sent out my main man Chris to find out some more info about it. Hey Oilers, lunch on the lawn happened a while back, so I tracked down some of the MMT pop students who played at the event to ask them some questions. Uh, one of my favorite experience with lunch on the lawn was being able to have like a full performance in front of everyone and create a set list with my friends and perform it, how to do some improv. It's really funny. <laughs> uh, my experience with Lunch on the Lawn is a really good one. I had a lot of fun performing, and it was overall a really enjoyable experience to get to share some of the music I was practicing with my fellow peers. Well, Oilers, that's all. Remember, the next Lunch on the Lawn is April 24th. Sweet! Speaking of sweet, Claudia and Chloe are back out on their favorite Huntington Beach hangout to help you maintain your sugar habit. Oilers. Remember that great boba place snow monster that was on Beach Boulevard? Well, it's gone now, but taking its place is Happy Sweet, a bakery and boba shop. Here, you can get customized cakes from their bakery or enjoy one of their cookies made in-house. Me and Claudia shared a free one that this nice man Dan gave us. They have everything from cookies, boba, macarons, teas, you name it. They got it, probably. If you check in for the first time on Yelp when you go there, you get a free small Vietnamese coffee. Come get some nice ice cream, boba, drinks, tea, coffee, anything you're feeling. They've got it over at Happy Sweet Bakery. Yum! I could really use a cookie right now. Well, that's about it for this week, Oilers. And remember, 